James Augustus Grant Lieutenant Colonel James Augustus Grant CBCSIFRS FRGS, April 11, 1827, February 11, 1892, was a Scottish explorer of eastern equatorial Africa. He made contributions to the journals of various learned societies, the most notable being the Botany of the Speak and Grant Expedition in Volume 29 of the Transactions of the Linnean Society. He married in 1865 and settled down at Nairn, where he died in 1892. He was buried in the crypt of St. Paul's Cathedral. Grant's gazelle, one of the largest and handsomest of that family in Africa, was named in his honor. Early Life Grant was born at Nairn in the Scottish Highlands, where his father was the parish minister, and educated at Nairn Academy, Aberdeen Grammar School, and Mariscal College, Aberdeen. In 1846 he joined the Indian Army. He saw active service in the Sikh War, 1848-49, served throughout the Indian Mutiny of 1857, and was wounded in the operations for the relief of Lucknow. African Expeditions He returned to England in 1858, and in 1860 joined John Hanning Speak in the memorable expedition which solved the problem of the Nile sources. The expedition left Zanzibar in October 1860 and reached Gondokoro, where the travelers were again in touch with what they regarded as civilization, in February 1863. Speak was the leader, but Grant carried out several investigations independently and made valuable botanical collections. He acted throughout in absolute loyalty to his comrade. In 1864 he published, as supplementary to Speak's account of their journey, A Walk Across Africa, in which he dealt particularly with the ordinary life and pursuits, the habits and feelings of the natives and the economic value of the countries traversed. In 1864 he was awarded the Patron's Medal of the Royal Geographical Society, and in 1866 given the companionship of the Bath in recognition of his services in the expedition. Grant served in the Intelligence Department of the Abyssinian Expedition of 1868, for this he was made a companion of the Order of the Star of India and received the Abyssinian War Medal. At the close of the war he retired from the army with the rank of lieutenant colonel. Grant's illness in Africa In his book, A Walk Across Africa, Grant gives the following description of his illness, which broke out when they reached the native kingdom of Karag, on the western side of Lake Victoria in December 1861. Grant's illness prevented him from being with Speak when Speak became the first white man to see the outpouring of the White Nile from Lake Victoria. However, as small compensation, his may be the first recorded case and first description of Mycobacterium ulcerans infection, Beruli ulcer. The print in his book shows Grant being carried on a wicker stretcher, leaving Karag. Reasons for regarding the illness as M. ulcerans infection are, 